they all get. This area of Lincoln with its narrow streets and timber framed buildings is named after its proximity to the castle's outer bailey, also known as the Bale. It's a crowded, bustling commercial hub, echoing with the cries of tradesmen and the walkers' laughter of their customers. Many of the people who live and work along Dalegate are directly involved in supplying the castle with daily essentials and needs to function effectively. There are smiths who forge metal objects, lorimers who make spurs and bridle bits, butchers, spicers and bakers, all plying their trades from the streets below. Property leases from this year refer to the following local residents who live and work not far from where you're standing. William the Spicer and his wife Olympia. Tola, widow of Ralph the Baker and her son Thorold. Matilda, wife of Alan the Painter. Payne the Carpenter and Agnes his wife. Continue along the wall and when you see the audio guide symbol, press 6. There's some very, if you're going down there, I don't know about children, but there's some vertical steps you've got to go down. Might not be suitable for a child. There's no warning. I didn't realise that was a step now. You can go down to the first level with them, but I would say it might be a bit dodgy. You wouldn't even be able to carry them. There wouldn't be room. But the, the bottom bit is very similar to where you're going, so they're not missing anything. And if you've got that, it tells you the story. Oh, exactly. <laughs> the Knight Templar were kept down there before uh, before some of their executions as well. They don't always tell you everything. No, no. Okay. Jostling to get the best view. Landlords charging trumpets to let people enjoy the spectacle from their upstairs windows. They're doing a brisk trade. People have travelled many miles to enjoy the carnival acts. Children run playfully through the crowd. Their way up the hill on crutches. 
Just do a very small video. I'm walking, I haven't been able to do a lot because there's people around. Um, but I'm on the ramparts of Lincoln Castle. Here's the Bailey all out here like it's always been. There's the old prison there. This is an active courthouse down here and there's two prison vans with prisoners that have been delivered for court today. Now you can't see it from here now they've put these barriers up. But yesterday I visited the old site of a uh, Lincoln Mental Hospital, the asylum. Um, which I, I thought it looked like a mental hospital, but somebody passed by, a, a woman I met when I was walking, told me all about that it was a mental hospital, and it was one of the very first early mental hospitals ever introduced into the UK. And it was um, quite an, an experiment in a good way at the start. But there's no one coming at the moment, so I'm just doing a little bit of videoing while I can. I'll be going up into the top of the keep in a minute. That's over there, that's the keep. But I haven't been able to do many videos because there's people, you know, you can't video when you, um, not properly, you can't, because you've got, you've got to have people that have their privacy. But there's a gorgeous view of the cathedral, which I went in this morning. And I've got guidebooks and everything. I've got the inside of the castle bits to do yet. Including not the dungeon. We're not allowed to go in the dungeon apparently. It's not very safe, a uh, fireman told me. They use it for training, for getting people out of broken buildings. Um, but we've got... Where's F? I got a feeling that... It's also known as, that keep there, is known as Lucy's Tower. Um, she's a famous woman tied up in history. Then we got number six. What's that? The yeah, we've got the Heritage Skills Centre. We've got the Victorian Prison. I think we're allowed to go in, I'm not sure. A cafe. Shop where I'm going to get some souvenirs. I'm going to go over to Lucy's Keep now. I've got to turn the video off in a minute. I'll oh, just put it on video. hold. That's the Lucy's Tower there and the moat. And the moat. The um, bailey. Uh, the keep. That's the keep there. And that's the prison with the big high wall. probably refers to the Countess Lucy, daughter of the castle's first sheriff Thorold and wife to his successor, Evo de Taibois. Lucy's handed marriage was used by King William. Going in there soon. After I've done the wall. Quite a big wall, you know. So I've got to go right up there in the tower, yeah. When the Taibois died, the choice of her marital status and next husband was not exclusively hers to make. Lucy was widowed three times, and at the age of 60, paid King Henry I the very considerable sum of 500 marks on the understanding that he would never again command her to wed. By the late 18th century, the inside of the keep had fallen into disrepair. In 1819, Samuel Bamford, a political prisoner held at Lincoln following the Peterloo Massacre, described it as not kept locked and tenanted only by owls and an immense number of snail shells which completely formed its floor. Ten years later, executed convict Thomas Lister became the first burial within the tower walls was not the last. Some of the graves of the prisoners buried in the Lucy Tower have longer stories than others. 